Hey, this is Seth from Sonic Electronics, and today we're going to be talking about prefab boxes versus manufacturer built boxes. First, we're going to give you a build quality overview, and then we're actually going to hook these things up so you can actually get a sound quality demo as well, so you can actually hear the difference between the two boxes. But first, let's start over here with a prefab, um, talking a little bit about the build quality. Um, you can see here you have your three quarter inch MDF, you have your this is your regular thin layer of black carpet, and you have this port. This is a universal port that uh, prefab box manufacturers put on all of the boxes of this size. It's not tuned for any specific woofer. It's designed so that if you take one of these woofers, you drop it in, it's going to work. But it can work with this woofer and many other woofers out there. The biggest and most important thing about prefab boxes is making sure that the internal airspace requirements matches the subwoofer that you're putting in it. Um, in this case, we're using an older model CVX. This is the 06 CVX, uh, which just so happened to come out of this box over here. And some of the differences um, you're going to see here is first off the build quality, the look. Um, let's start up here at the front baffle. Here you, you'll see two layers of 3 quarter inch MDF. And that's going to give a little bit more structural strength um, as well as kind of set the, the woofer back a little bit. It's an, it's an aesthetic, aesthetic thing. Um, it's something that a lot of different uh, manufacturers of boxes do. Um, Kicker's not the only brand that makes um, preloaded enclosures with their own boxes. Rockford Fosgate does it, Massive Audio does it, and there's a bunch of other manufacturers that do the same thing. Um, but one thing I want to point out here are these machine screws here. Um, this is a little bit different than your prefab box. Um, you might have already noticed both of these boxes have been used. They've had woofers in them and we've taken them out so you can see kind of the inside of the boxes. And also what happens when you do that. Over here on the prefab, you're going to notice that when we put the screw in and take it out, it's going to kind of crack this MDF a little bit. Versus over here, you'll notice that it doesn't really do anything to it because it's a solid hole using these machine screws. Um, longer lasting, much better for the box. Um, even though typically you're not swapping out a lot of woofers here. Um, it does help with returns and warranty sometime. If you have a problem with this woofer, sometimes you can just ship back the woofer and keep the box, save you some money on shipping, and these will help preserve the life of your box. Um, other things, um, this one comes pre-filled with polyfill so you can get more base, more oomph out of the woofer. And the port along the back here, um, that is actually tuned according to the teal and small parameters of this woofer. Whereas the port over here was universal for lots of woofers, this one is designed specifically for this woofer. So it's going to kind of optimize that sound quality coming from this woofer. So that's kind of our overview of the build quality of both of these. But let's head back to our test car with our Termlab SPL meter hooked up and so you can actually hear the difference between the two boxes. All right, so right now we have our manufacturer built box in our demo car. Uh, we have the Termlab SPL meter in here. We have the, uh, one of the sensors hooked up on the front windshield right below the rear view mirror. We're going to have that consistent across both tests. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do both boxes. First thing we're going to do is a low frequency sweep going from about 80 hertz down to 1 hertz. Um, that way you can see on the Termlab readout the differences there. And then we're going to actually put a song to it so you can hear what it's like with a song as opposed to just a low frequency sweep. Um, so that's going to be more based on SPL. Afterwards, we'll do some commentary about the sound quality coming from the two different boxes because it is going to be a little bit different. But let's get started and start with the manufacturer built box. OK, so over here, um, you're going to see this is going to be the side we're looking at. This is just going through our low frequency sweep right now. Disregard all the numbers over here. Um, right here, this is going to be the current peak hold. So this is the loudest that it has gotten, uh, peak SPL, kind of lining up for that number right there. On the top, you're going to see what it's currently doing, which is 123, 124. Um, you'll see it's getting louder, 125.4. That's the loudest so far. And so as the frequencies are getting lower and lower, more towards that resonant frequency, this is going to be getting louder and louder. So I guess it's probably going to start dying off here, um, leaving the peak SPL about 126.1. So now we're I'm just in the car. Now I'm going to be switching over to the CD. We're just going to play the same track for both of these. So here, this is the manufacturer box. Hit about 121, 121.3. This is more just your generic hip hop song. 
more of a real world application for what you're actually going to be getting out of this. So we're going to let this play all the way through this song, and then we'll show you the peak at the end of it. Um, that way, where it's an even test for both boxes, so you can know exactly what you're dealing with, apples to apples, SPL to SPL. All right, so we just tested the manufacturer box. Here's the prefab. Let's see how it compares to the manufacturer. So make it loud. Let's hope it doesn't get one. It was last one, 125. I could. All right, so we just finished with a prefab box. Its uh, peak SPL here was 125.2. Uh, not bad. However, if you were standing here, you could definitely tell a difference in the sound quality that was coming out of those. I'm not quite sure if the mics here picked it up or not, um, but I mean, that was apparent to me standing right here. All right, so as you can see from the tests, the manufacturer uh, preloaded enclosures over here uh, performed better, more SPL. It was about a decibel higher um, in the, both of the low frequency test tone as well as the hip hop song that we played. So a little bit more out of your woofer um, coming from the manufacturer preloaded enclosures. Um, the prefab, however, uh, did pretty good. Um, the sound quality wasn't as good. It's not as loud, but it's a lot cheaper than, than going with a manufacturer built box over here. So if your main concern is keeping costs down, the prefab is a solution that can work very well for you. However, if your main concern is getting the most out of your woofer, um, this is an excellent choice. Again, this is not talking about uh, building your custom box. Um, and we'll do a whole other video segment on custom built boxes. Um, this is just comparing your pre-built to your manufacturer. So my name is Seth Wild, and thanks for tuning in to sonicelectronics.com.